Many greetings to you people, hoping you are doing fine wherever you are. Welcome to our channel. This is uh, Joint Hands Green Life Trees and uh, this is another moment when we are catching up to update you on what is latest from us. Um, we are coming to you from Kitembe village where we had visited uh, uh, Baba Obama and Mama Obama just to check on them and also to uh, deliver some stuff, uh, either stuff related to the garden or related to their kitchen, and also to meet them, uh, get to know how they are faring, and also a follow-up on the crops that we had planted here, the kitchen garden, uh, the updates on the same. So feel welcome uh, as we follow together on what is latest from here. My name is John Bosco. My updates start from uh, the entrance into the yard. So um, we had planted a few Duranta along uh, the yard. Most of them are already lost while we have uh, those that we had been planted to this other side. The garden is cultivated and good for planting. Uh, and it has rained here just so well. Uh, I think it must have rained last night. Uh, unlike Migori, where we've come from, it hasn't rained. Actually, it, it ra when it rains once, we take a while to see the rains. But uh, here, it has rained just so nicely. Uh, and so the Duranta that was planted to in this area to define this driveway, uh, they are in healthy state. Just as you can see, uh, if I try to zoom in a little bit, that is their state. And then um, they have cultivated the field already. Uh, it is set for planting. Then uh, the driveway here has already been worked on. They've dug it. There's, uh, my observation is that there is uh, erosion taking place here. But the Duranta that was planted to either side of the driveway is really doing well. Uh, and by all indication, there's a tr transformation in the yard, looking at the house over there and also looking at the driveway here, the pit latrine, uh, the rack where the utensils are being washed, some good work that Otenga had done before. Um, and also checking around here, you can still see that the traveler's palm that we had planted here is in a healthy state. And this one too is in very good state, even though it is inside the net, uh, the wire net. Uh, but we've already made recommendation that uh, uh, the fence, this fence will be moved into the inside so that it allows this to uh, appear from the outside. Uh, since it is not a, a, a crop, but uh, an ornamental plant, we could classify it as a tree. Right, and uh, so just updates on uh, the kitchen garden. Uh, we had made a makeshift gate here uh, with the recommendation that you would close up the open side that is uh, to that corner over there. So this is the entry, the entry point. Uh, now we'll uh, disappoint you a little bit. Some things are not doing really nice. But let me start with the pumpkin leaves. This is a, a nice vegetable back here. And uh, pumpkin leaves is a vegetable that we love just so much. We, we, we love taking it. It's very delicious. We take it with uh, corn bread, uh, bread made out of corn. And we call it ugali. Uh, in my language, we call it kuon. Uh, maize flour that is, uh, 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 is cooked up in a way and mingled and forms some thick sort of porridge. We call it ugali. Uh, so we, that is what we take with the uh, pumpkin leaves. But we have got uh, the spinach that we planted. Uh, they are doing well. Uh, I'm loving it. Um, they have done some sort of scarecrows here <laughs> that uh, I'm told birds there's a, a type of a bird that invades the vegetables here and does destruction a lot. So they, uh, they placed all these uh, 
polythene uh, flyers so that as they fly around they scare the birds uh, but I'm told that uh, this hasn't worked much because the birds are still doing a lot of destruction now the spinach is in good state it is not affected in any way by the birds but here is the disappointment uh, they have eaten up the leaves to the collards the skumawiki uh, all the collards they were more leafy at the time when they were planted than right now they are actually almost invisible because what is left here are stalks uh, they've been eaten up by a bird they are all in healthy state save for the fact that the leaves are all eaten up so uh, quite disappointing but uh, having checked it with uh, Pamela we've had a discussion on what is most ideal to be done here um, seemingly this chain wire uh, that was used um, this wire net that was uh, used to guard the perimeter around the kitchen garden perhaps is what we will need for the corn gardens as well so that the corn gardens are in a way protected against the birds because these birds seemingly are quite notorious i'm told every single minute uh, when people are not in the yard they are all over uh, pecking up the vegetable leaves they love collards more than they love the spinach and so this is the kind of destruction that they've caused i think because again now uh, they lack what to eat in the wild, so they go for whatever they find. And this is what they found and is what they've come for. All right. Uh, that said, uh, that said, we are, uh, the, the other plants are doing good. Uh, as you can see the Thuya Cypress and uh, the Traveler's Palm over there. And also this other Thuya Cypress. You can see how beautiful it looks, uh, really nice. The pomegranate, um, you remember, uh, we had planted this pomegranate. Um, this orange is growing really slowly, but it is still in good state. Uh, another pomegranate and yet another orange. Then uh, we have got uh, this here is a vegetable, it's called amaranth and uh, the notorious birds have spared it <laughs> yeah the notorious birds have spared even the jute mallow uh, is really in good state but not uh, not much of them i don't know why it is just a single one uh, i'm hoping that there are any plans to plant more of them uh, that is it so uh, all said, all said, that is the state. We also come over with uh, some fruit tree seedlings. Uh, we're carrying them in here. Uh, this is how we package them. Avocado, mango, apple, and more of citrus. Uh, orange uh, is what we're going to get planted over here. Baba Frank over there, he had paid a courtesy call here. Just say hi. Hi. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, you'll get to hear from Mama Obama over there. She's still doing uh, sanitation. Uh, you'll get to hear from her. Uh, updates on the state of the home. How are you? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Remind us your name. Look into the camera. Uh -huh. Julia Takini. Where is Obama? He's going to the church. Oh, he's going to the church. Okay, and you need to go to church. <laughs> uh, quite okay. Yeah, so Juliet is uh, Obama's sister. Yeah, and you can hear the chickens in their coop. Mother chicken with baby chicks. I don't know how visible this could be. I'm really trying to check. No, it is too dark. It is too dark in there. You can't see them. And I don't want to walk in. Uh, perhaps I could cause infection. Yes, I got to the backyard also to just update you on how much has been undertaken at the backyard. Uh, remember we had planted uh, a mango seedling. 
and it has grown to this level. Then there is uh, some passion fruit seedling, and we had planted just a number of them along the perimeter. Then, uh, then we have got uh, papaya. Uh, this papaya here, I'm um, hoping you can see it, uh, how it has grown, really growing steadily. Then the banana is quite visible. Well, the last time we planted it was uh, not quite visible, not quite clear. Uh, another papaya, another banana. Moving on, more vegetable, one more papaya more of pumpkin leaves and we have got an orange over there as you can see then uh, this apple just got planted a while ago as you can see then as we move around there's this mango tree that was planted many years ago it has been here i don't know if it is local I'm not yet quite updated, but uh, an avocado tree is growing up here. And as I told you, we have passion fruit seedlings all along the perimeter, and uh, they are growing uh, steadily well. Uh, an orange tree, um, I mean a mango tree seedling here, and one more avocado tree seedling right here. Mm. Uh, yeah, this is already flowering, the papaya, even though it is still so short. It has the flower bud already. You've seen, um, those are the updates we had for you. We had delivered some stuff, just as you've seen. And uh, we've engaged Baba Obama in planting uh, the fruit trees that we had brought for him. And uh, we've had a discussion concerning the birds that have eaten up the, the, the collards. Uh, we are exploring options, uh, the best option, especially the most immediate way out uh, to secure the vegetables. Um, Baba Obama is here, you can hear from him, but just before you hear from him, we were with Pamela uh, Pam, you have what to tell? <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> For Pamela of your entrance in life, trees uh, here at Mama. Um, uh, we did bought a few groceries and uh, um, some fruit trees that we've already planted uh, with Baba Obama. I'm just so much grateful uh, to our donors, our subscribers, for just for uh, 
keeping our mission of spreading love and kindness alive. Thank you. Okay, thanks a lot. I'm so much grateful for the plant fruits I've, I've brought. I've brought. I'm delivered by my clients. You have not been seeing me around. Mm. But I'm happy that I was on some I was on terms. But I'm glad that I'm not. What you have done to me, I appreciate and have been appreciating. Mm. As per such, I'll try all my best to keep or guard whatever you have brought to me because they are beneficiary to my family. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, thanks a lot. Okay, so we brought some maize seeds sometimes ago. Uh, you were not around. And uh, fertilizer and some beans. I hope you received them. Acknowledged, I received them. Yes. Yeah, thanks a lot. And you know that right now you are the you are the only person having um, apple fruit tree around. Uh, I've never seen it around here. Otenga planted some, but I don't know whether it's uh, it's still surviving. So uh, you really have to take care of them. You do you know how much an apple uh, fruit is. I do not know. And in fact, it is my first day to see them. Um, uh, I was used to reading on them just on the book. Yeah, so yeah. you were seeing it on the book. So yeah, now you have yeah. it in reality. Yeah. You are an apple farmer. You have the tree within your yard. So just take good care of it so that you can realize the benefits. Of course. I'll One try. apple fruit is uh, cost around uh, 50. Around 50 Kenya shillings. 50 Kenya shillings. That we can say food. half a dollar. Yes. Yeah. So you can imagine of that. So please take good care of the of, of, of everything that you have. So, and I've seen one of your purple trees is already flowering. Of course, yes. Within how many months? Should I say two? Around two months. About this two is months. now the third month. So, yeah, so this is a, an F1 purple. It's a hybrid. That's why it starts producing at a very early age. Within less than one meter, it starts flowering. So you have brought the bank to me at the house? Exactly. Hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so just help us explore in the ways of keeping away the bats before we think of a, a more stable measure. Because uh, uh, I'm not happy seeing it like that. No, do not be dismayed. Okay. Yeah. okay. They will recover. But I hope everything will be okay. Thanks. 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 And, uh, that brings us to uh, the end of all that we needed to update you in this yard. We are just so grateful uh, for your support. Uh, if you're coming across this video and meeting this channel for the first time, support us by subscribing because this goes a long way in helping us to reach out to uh, many people by spreading love or by taking care of our ecosystem or by planting uh, fruit trees, which is a way of addressing uh, nutrition and food security uh, we also leading producers of tree seedlings in migori county so perhaps you are interested in tree seedlings wherever you are uh, get in touch with us we have uh, assorted tree seedlings right from indigenous trees to fruit trees to uh, exotic trees we also have ornamental plants and herbal plants uh, get in touch with us we'll be really grateful we are still in Kitembe village. We are leaving this place for uh, Mama Aboy. Uh, for those who have been following our videos, you understand who Mama Boy is. So that is uh, what we'll be updating you right after this. So stay tuned. My name is John Bosco. With me here is uh, uh, my learned friend, friend yeah. uh, my learned <laughs> friend, and the first lady in this movement. <laughs> <laughs> we also have Baba Obama over there. And Baba Frank. Yeah, Baba and Frank, Baba Frank is here. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Mama Obama over there. Yeah, Obama, and Mama, Mama Obama, Obama just uh, for us. very busy washing utensils over there. Uh -huh. Oh, washing shoes, <laughs> doing laundry. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we Mama. they also have vis visitors who are just <laughs> made a courtesy call here, as oh, you Mama can Austin. see. That is Mama Austin, Austin yeah. over there at the veranda. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, we wish you the very best. Looking forward to catching up with you in our next video. For now, we wish you the very best. Bye-bye.